Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll uh, try to continue the things we are learning in uh, air compressors. Okay. So in this video, we'll try to solve or derive the expression for volumetric efficiency of a uh, mm, yeah, this one uh, air compressor. Okay. So what is the clearance volume? So first, we shall try to analyze this. So the, here it be a piston and cylinder arrangement. Okay. So here the piston is at TDC now. TDC in the sense it is top dead center, correct? So now the piston is at TDC. Okay. So if the piston is at TDC, then it would not touch the cylinder head. There would be some gap uh, between the cylinder head and the piston surface. So whatever the volume which is uh, left free during this particular thing is known as your VC, which is your clearance volume. Just for the revision, I have just revised it. So this particular uh, clearance volume is very much important uh, in order to perform a air compression or it might be an engine also. Why? Because see, clearance volume will give that tolerance limit so that it will not hit up the spark plug and damage the cylinder head, the first thing. Second thing, the clearance volume has to be provided because you are taking out more amount of air in. So you are taking out more amount of air in so that you can compress the whole air to a smaller volume of air. Okay. So even it increases your uh, the volumetric efficiency also. So uh, in the basic sense, I can say the clearance volume has a huge impact on your volumetric efficiency. Correct. If the clearance volume is increased, then the volumetric efficiency is also increased. And how the, what is the relationship between your clearance volume and your volumetric efficiency? First of all, what is volumetric efficiency? We all see this particular things in your video. Okay. So a volumetric efficiency. Uh, so volumetric efficiency is defined as the ratio of air delivered at the free air pressure so what is free air pressure free air pressure is your suction pressure whatever the pre the quantity of air or the volume of air which is delivered at the free air pressure then it is uh, that particular thing with the the ratio of that that volume with the swept volume is known as your volumetric efficiency okay so referring to the figure so where, where can you plot your volume uh, uh, clearance volume so this is your clearance volume and this is your swept volume and uh, this thing here from 1 to 4 is your VES. So what is VES? It is exact swept volume. So what is VES? VES is your just swept volume. So complete swept volume. Okay. This is your exact swept volume. Okay. And what do you mean by exact? Only this much. Uh, will happen in the suction stroke. This much amount of volume has been sucked within the compression uh, suction stroke, is it? So that is why it is known as exact stroke volume. But the thing is, you are playing with whole this volume. That means from here till here. That's why the whole thing is known as a suck volume. But to be precise, you are just uh, sucking the air from here to here. So this one it is known as exact stroke volume. Okay. So this is the things guys. So the mass of the air delivered okay, is given as either PVS divided by RT or mass of uh, air delivered to fill the swept volume. So this is the whole thing and this is the swept volume. So it is PVS divided by RT. Okay. So hence volumetric efficiency I have just defined it as the quantity of the thing which is free air delivered at the free air pressure divided by swept volume quantity. So if you substitute the things, what happens? Your RT, RT get cancels and PP get cancels. It would be VES divided by VS. That is exact set volume divided by set volume. So in the whole set volume, how much quantity of air you are actually intaking inside. So that becomes your volumetric efficiency. Getting my point? Okay. So what is the induced volume? Let us go further. Huh. What is the induced volume? Induced volume is V1 minus V4. Correct. So where is that V1 minus V4? This is the induced volume which I was talking about, which is VES. Okay. Uh, V1, I can write it as VC plus VS. Let us check uh, from the PV diagram. So this is your 
so this is your uh, v1 so it is vc plus vs okay now v4 is uh, something which is related to ves okay where is that now v1 is vc plus vs and v4 as it is okay now consider process 3 to 4 where where is process 3 to 4 so this is your process 3 to 4 what is process 3 to 4 guys it is adiabatic or polytropic expansion so polytropic expansion pvt conversion equation you have to apply which is uh, p3 by p4 is equals to v4 by v3 whole to the power of n that is equals to t3 by t4 whole to the power of n divided by n minus 1 so that particular thing it has been applied partially here okay in this thing so p2 by p1 is nothing but your rp if when you extract v4 from this why are you extracting v4 from this why are you extracting v4 from this you are extracting v4 here in order to substitute in this particular expression here so extract v4 from the pvt conversion equation okay then you will find this thing okay so what is v3 so where is v3 try to plot so here is your v3 so v3 is nothing but your vs so i am taking this so v3 i am taking as vs vc here okay so next uh, ves which is uh, nothing but your um, uh, induced volume which i have just uh, uh, made this equation number two here so from that vs plus vc uh, take it as it is substitute the value of v4 okay as this particular thing here take vc common okay and rearrange the things you will find this okay from here you take vss common if it is not there also you take vss common so if you take vss common here one remains uh, vs is not there so you have to divide by vs the this is a multiplication factor as it is okay now uh, so vc by vs is known as this particular factor here which is a c okay so uh, volumetric efficiency finally it is given as ves by vs we have found ves in this equation 3 here so from equation 3 you will get ves okay c is known as a clearance ratio okay which is given so c is nothing but what it is clearance ratio and it is given by vc divided by vs if you want you can just add the sentence vc by vs is taken as c which is known as clearance ratio and all the remaining things are as it is rp whole to the power of 1 by n minus 1 it is as it is okay so vs is also as it is so now going back to the definition of um, volumetric efficiency what is volumetric efficiency it is given as ves by vs is it so vs you have just uh, derived this thing using equation number three taking that value from equation number three and substituting here so what happens uh, this is the thing uh, vs vs get cancels here so the remaining is this particular thing here so what is the total volumetric efficiency final expression is one minus the remaining thing one minus c into rp whole to the power of one by n minus one so you need to remember this particular expression in order to solve the various problems on it and this particular derivation is also very very important as it's been asked many many times in your previous examinations okay